So, hi Cubies, here's Alexandra, and this is now the video where I give this new brushes here a test spin. I hope you have uh, seen the video I have made previously. If not, please stop and watch that before. Well, you are still here. That means you want to see the test spin. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this is just a Stormcast Eternal, and I have uh, primed here the cloak already in black and uh, well we will uh, give it a test now <clears throat> let's mix up some paint and see what we can do with the new brush so some deadly nightshade uh, some azul denso heavy blue and we're good to go So, this one is clean. Now let's take our biggest brush here for the first layer. Let's load up the brush with uh, some paint. Remove the excess. And let's get stippling. So, first layer of stippling large surface areas yeah working quite nice good control but I must say for this surface this brush is still a little bit big but that doesn't matter we can switch it up in just a second we'll just take other big surface areas here this one and that <clears throat> what I'm trying to do here with the stippling is create a nice <coughs> color transition without using an airbrush. That's the whole reason of stippling. You are uh, basically uh, making small dots of color and uh, can create really nice color transitions so there's a large surface area how this actually looks we will see in just a moment when we are using our second color <coughs> for now this is okay let's wash it out properly <coughs> so the brush tips are a little bit stained but that's always the case with natural brushes uh, that get their first color coat it's like dyeing your hairs it's uh, soaked into the bristles itself so you will never get rid of this color again but well <coughs> that's the thing with stippling so I think uh, this brush is also too big so let's take this one here the zero zero That's nice. With that you can really nicely paint those areas. That's exactly what I was looking for in a brush. That we can 
keep the shadow areas in the dark. And still paint the details that we want. Do we paint it? So use this for dry brushing purposes obviously like you can see here <coughs> yep that's that's looking good now let's uh, start to highlight this color line might be a little bit too tiny for this brush but we have another brush that's even tinier than this one no worries You see I'm uh, very gently touching the surface here, barely touching. And the nice thing about uh, this method, this stippling, especially for cloaks like this, gives uh, the surface a nice texture. <coughs> and you can see we can create really nice color transitions with this. Just barely touching. You are shading with tiny little dots. At the edge you have a little, tiny amount of dots and where you want to have it lighter, then you make more dots. Like here, for example. I want to have this here lighter, so I dot it more. <coughs> oh, 
only downside with a small brush like this is the amount of paint runs out rather quickly but that's what's with all small brushes that's the case yeah so let's switch to the tiniest of them all <coughs> mirror mirror on the wall who's the tiniest of them all clean it properly we don't want to ruin this brush with stiff paint So, now the smallest, the triple zero. Let's see what he can do. On the smallest areas, like this one here. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff. That's the secret. Yeah, even this tiny folds can be stippled with this this is nice okay <coughs> now let's find out even more this and I know this video is a little bit boring without cuts and you're literally watching paint dry but well that's what this video is all about it's all about watching paint dry <laughs> now it's actually about seeing what these brushes are capable of If they are worth your money, or my money in that case, because I have to buy them first from the manufacturer and then I can sell them to you. But I honestly hope that you like what you are seeing here. what you can do That was a little bit too dark of a splotch. Hmm. Uh, well, too bright in that case. Too big of a splotch. That was what I, I wanted to say. Big splotch. Mm -hmm. And voila, it is done. I hope you like what you can see there. This 
is how it looks. I hope you like this little experiment with the new brushes. And we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.